Hi, good morning everyone. Okay, let's continue with question 11. The table 1 shows the savings of 4 pupils in 2018. Savings for Kyra and Irene is not shown. So we have 4 pupils here, Kyra, Manisha, Lily, Irene, and these are their savings, simpanan. Okay, you save in a bank. Okay, question 1. The bank provides an interest at the rate of 8% per year. Calculate the value of interest earned. Bank memberikan kadar faedah sebanyak 8% setahun. Hitungkan nilai faedah. Nilai faedah. So the formula is the nilai faedah which is 8% times the simpanan. So calculate the one for Manisha. So Manisha is 1008. So 8% is nilai faida times simpanan Manisha 1800. Okay, so step two, 8% you put it over 100, we change to fraction. Okay, tukar kepada pecahan. So put it over 100 per 100 and then you times simpanan manisha 1800. Okay, next you cross the zero. The left side you cross two zeros, right side you also cross two zeros. It must be the same. So 8 times 18 ringgit, you get 144. So this is the answer. The question asks for value of interest. You don't have to plus the saving. No need to plus anymore. Because the question only asks for the interest. How much interest is earned? Okay, if the question asks how much you will get at the end of the year, then yes, you have to plus the savings. But if the question only asks for interest, so I'll tanya faida saja. Cari lah faida saja. 144. Okay, question two. The total savings for four pupils is 6,300. Jumlah simpanan bagi empat murid ialah 6,300. So there are four pupils here. One, two, three, four. Total is 6,300. Kyra saving is half of iron saving. Wang Kyra adalah separuh daripada Wang Irene. Separuh. So that means who has more money? Irene has more money. Because Kyra saving is only half. Separuh saja daripada Irene saving. That means if Irene has two ringgit, Kyra only has one. Okay, because it's only half. The half of two is one. Right? If I draw two boxes here, separo dia yala satu saja. Okay, so this one you have to remember. Question asks for Kyra saving. So we need to find out Kairas saving. Okay, how do we find Kairas saving? Okay, firstly, we take the total, 6,300. We minus Manisha saving. We minus Lily shaving, savings. And then the balance will be Kairas and Irene saving. Okay, so send, number sentence number one. 6,300 minus Lily saving and then minus Manisha saving 1,008. 
Okay, then the balance you get 3,600. This 3,600 belongs to Irene's and Kairas. Irene and, oops, pardon me. Irene and Kairas. Okay, belongs to Irene and Kairas. And just now, remember the question tells us Kairas saving is half. Wang Kaira adalah separuh daripada Wang Irene. Separuh. So Irene, duit Irene lebih banyak. Duit Kaira separuh saja. So again, separuh. So if Irene has two ringgit, Kaira will only have one. Separuh. Half. So we can take this money, 3,600, and we put it in. Three parts. Bigger by again. One, two, three. Okay. Irene will have two parts. Kyra will have one part. So Kyra satu bahagian saja. Irene ada dua bahagian. Sebab Kyra duit dia separuh daripada Irene. So this total here is three thousand. 600. Macam mana kita tahu? Sebab kita kira dari sini. 3,600. Kita ambil jumlah 6,300. Kita tolak Lily punya. Tolak Manisha punya. Yang baki ialah Kyra dan Irene punya. So, question ask for Question ask for Kyra saving only. Kyra saving only. So this is Kyra. K for Kyra. So this is one part only. Irene has two parts. Satu, dua. So 3600, number sentence 2 will be 3600. You divide 3. Because we want to know one, how much is one part. Satu bahagian berapa. So you divide 3. Ada tiga bahagian. So kita bagi tiga lah. Okay. So, satu bahagian ialah 1200. So, Kyra saving is 1200. 1200. So, how much is Irene saving? Irene ada dua bahagian. Nampak? Satu bahagian, dua bahagian. So, if satu bahagian ialah 1200, dua bahagian ialah 2400. So, Irene saving is 2004. Okay, remember to check your answers. Okay, lepas awak siap, check. Jumlahkan empat-empat orang ini. So, 1,002 plus 1,008 plus 900 plus 2,004 and check. If your total is 6,003, then yes, you are correct.